evening from London. The FTSE All Share had a slow start today as investors take note of the rising rate of COVID-19 infections in Asia. Outside of the square mile, a further easing of lockdown restrictions has provided some cheer for the hospitality and leisure industries. Some pubs opened on the stroke of midnight to host drinkers who can now consume alcohol and food indoors. The message from the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson was use a heavy dose of caution when exercising new found freedoms. Europe's largest low-cost airline has slumped to the steepest annual loss in its 35-year history. COVID-19 restrictions has led to Ryanair posting a net loss of 815 million euros in the year ending March and an 80% drop in passenger numbers to 27.6 million. A year earlier, bosses posted profits of over 1 billion euros. Ryanair said bookings had started to pick up in the month of April and pointed to a cash pile of more than 3 billion euros as evidence that it is well-placed to emerge from the crisis in a strong position. Its doubling traded shares were more than 2% higher in early dealing. Retail sales in China rose 17.7% in April, much less than the 24.9% forecast by economists and down from the 34.2% jump seen in March. China was the first major economy to bounce back from the pandemic, but consumption has lagged in the country's overall economic recovery. Retail sales contracted last year despite expansion in the country's GDP. Other data released by the National Bureau of Statistics revealed that the urban unemployment rate fell to 5.1% in April down from 5.3% in March. Singapore will shut most schools from Wednesday after the city-state reported the highest number of local COVID-19 infections in months. All primary, secondary and junior colleges will shift to full home-based learning. Yesterday, Singapore confirmed 38 locally transmitted cases, and although this is still just a fraction of the numbers being reported among Southeast Asian neighbours, infections have been steadily rising in recent weeks. Health officials are also concerned that the new variant, first detected in India, could be easily spread amongst children. Over a fifth of the country's population has completed the two-dose vaccination programme with vaccines from Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.